Uh, just what a great atmosphere here in the L, a tremendous win, uh, really a collective team effort. Uh, I thought our defense and our rebounding was uh, tremendous today. I thought we really took St. John's out of a lot of what they do and uh, just really proud of our entire team effort. And then a great, great afternoon for Chloe getting her 1,000 points. Yes, how important is it for some of the young players on this team to see someone like Chloe being here for five years, hitting that thousand point mark? How important is it to have her as a role model? Yeah, I mean, and Chloe brings just an incredible attitude every day, and, and she's the epitome of, of what player development looks like. You know, every year has incrementally improved, um, always puts the team first in what she does. And, and this year, especially when um, we asked her to step up in uh, more categories than she already had before, especially the scoring. Um, she has just settled down into that role and uh, just extremely tough. And I hope the younger players are, are watching. Um, they, they never got to see her her first couple years where um, she was going through that growth and maturation process. But to, to see um, see her have a, a day like today, but, but really what she's been doing all year has, has been awesome. And so St. John scored the first basket of the game today, and you guys responded with a 10-0 run. How did you feel your team punched back? Yeah, I thought our um, just our collective defensive effort was great. A big key to, to guarding St. John's is our one-on-one -on -one defense. Um, we weren't real thrilled at the Providence game of how that looked, so try to just really improve onto the next game. And you know, you're going against some of the top guards in the league. Um, Everett is is so deadly, and I thought we did a good job, uh, especially Rose Nakumu, just getting into her space and making everything contested. Um, but I think the thing with St. John's is if you can guard Everett, then other ones can step up, and we just tried to make it as difficult as possible. Had our offensive flow moving nicely in that first quarter. Um, didn't love our second quarter, but I thought we responded well in the third. Yes, you talk about kind of like this offensive movement. Uh, Jordan had six assists tonight, Rose had seven. How did you feel about how your two guards were able to create for others? Yeah, the ball was moving. 20 assists on 26 made baskets was, was really important today, and, and just you know changing sides of the floor and making the extra pass. I thought that... Um, ended up being pretty contagious with who was able to shoot the ball. And um, we're going to need different people stepping up, whether it's a playmaking ability or being able to knock down shots. Yeah, so you out-rebounded St. John's 46-26 to 26 today. Uh, how important is that rebounding margin to what your team tries to do every game? Yeah, I mean, St. John's is one of the best rebounding uh, teams in the league. I mean, Archer and Peoples are, are two of the best inside. And we just tried to, you know, with our collective group of post players, just, you know, stay physical with them. Um, and then have our guards come in and scoop up some of those rebounds. So, you know, Jordan coming in and getting six and, you know, Rose scooping up a couple. I thought Kennedy Miles was awesome. Five offensive rebounds, eight total. So just had a, a tenacity about themselves on the boards. And, and that's big. If St. John's can get their guard play going and then they get extra buckets from their post players, they're hard, hard, to, uh, hard to beat. So how important was today's win for you as you look into kind of the rest of the season, the end of these play towards conference? Yeah, I, I know for everybody this is an exciting time, but but really for us it's it's uh, keeping our mental side um, right and just physically getting as much rest and um, keeping everybody together. Um, you know we know there's you know every game is important, uh, but I think what's been great about this team, even going from Connecticut game to Providence to um, this game this afternoon, is just how focused they are on trying to improve on little things. I think that's what I was really happy about. Just our prep the last two days, I was hoping it would turn out to a good result today because they were so focused on the little things that maybe didn't go well the first time we played St. John's out on their place. Um, to fix a couple of those, um, you know, started with our defensive and, and rebounding tenacity, but I think everybody looks at the results and all that, but we are, we are still so focused on, you know, just literally going day by day and celebrating the wins and you know, just seeing Chloe get the recognition she deserves just with her teammates and our staff and the locker room was really cool. So, um, you know, next next uh, day is a day off, and that's how we're kind of operating. And then we'll get back on the floor Monday uh, to get better again. Yeah, so Claire Kent has been out for the last six games. Any update on when we might see her back in action? Again? Yeah, she's done for the season. Um, she had an emergency appendectomy um, a couple weeks ago, so um, was playing some of her best basketball. Um, just a kind of unfortunate um, thing with those uh, that type of situation. And... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see her back, um, obviously, for next season. Yes, yeah, so even though she's not playing, how important is her energy off the bench? Yeah, Claire's the best. She is just so driven to, you know, not only be a great player herself, but help her teammates. Um, you can see her in the huddles. We're giving her some different jobs to keep her focused. And I know we were all really bummed to see what happened to her, but, um, you know, she's contributing in other ways. And that's kind of a, a sign of a, of a great leader is being able to do that, step into a new role and help her teammates out. Can you just 